Hi everyone. Today I will work out is a uh, lamb handles. So side of your body. So you can call them obliques as well. The obliques which run along the sides of your core are important for rotational movements, bending from side to side and protecting your spine. The obliques are your side abs. Strengthening them, especially a few days per week, is a great idea for your overall health. If you are ready, let's get no moving obliques. them. You know all those twisting and the pain coming from your obliques? They should be strong. Shoulder, otherwise will hurt. 
Lift your bottom body, you will see where is your elbow. Could be here, could be two in, should be under shoulder when you're lifting your body. Tummy is sucking. Up. Breathing back. Deep breathe out. Breathing back. Up. When you engage in your core, you are helping your body to contract muscles and lift everything easy. Next. Up hold, top knee, and over, go back. Up, knee, lower, go back. One more up, knee, lower, and go back. Top leg long and pointed. Keep that tummy in again. Up, two up. One more up. Next leg, lift pelvis. Top leg up, lower and back. Pelvis up, hip, leg, back. Last one, leg, lower and back. Now both legs long. Again, you can do everything on the knees, bending your knees if you think too much. Top foot in front of you. Tummy in, deep breathe out. Up and back. And also one side of your body will feel more stronger than other side. Because your dominant part will be more stronger. And last. And back. Now feet top of each other. Ankles flex. Deep breathe out. Tummy more strong now. Up. And back. Two more. And back. One more. And back. Finish last and back and my floor was so hard hurting my bones because my mat is small let's come on four point i know you all knack it knees hip width apart and hunching again double chin breathe in breathe out expand it out one more breathe out cat breathe in breathe out expand it Last one, cat. And come back to neutral. Then go back to your tummy. On the tummy. So, this one again, targeting full body, but we will add a little bit more obliques. So, elbows again under shoulders. Yeah, make sure not forward, not too back. And both back of feet flat. So, we breathe out. Easy one again, modify, lifting pelvis, little bit twist pelvis right and left, center, go back to that. Keep tummy strong in, <sighs> up, hollow in your core, left pelvis tip, right tip, center, go back. Two more of this, <sighs> scoop and lift, left tip, right tip, center, Go back. Last one up. Left tilt. Right tilt. Center. Then go back. Now you can continue with this because we will do three more with other one. Both feet flexed. And we breathe out. Lift pelvis. Again I say, I, I know I'm repeating too many. You can tilt from here or lift your knees. Tilt pelvis side. Other side, center, go back to mat. Again, deep breathe out. <sighs> Everything up. Tilt pelvis. Other side, center, go back. One more and last. <sighs> up, knees up. Tilt pelvis. Another side, center, go back to mat. Now, both hands top of each other under your forehead and keep legs hip width apart, pointing out. Tummy in with breathe out. Up, squeeze glutes. Lower again. Breathe out, up, squeeze. Breathing down. Press down your pelvis pivot bone. And back. Two more up, squeeze glutes. And back. Last one up, squeeze, go back. Now legs heavy, 
upper body with your elbows in that position. Up, elbows lift, squeeze shoulder blades. Go back again. Up, squeeze. Breathe in back. One more up, squeeze. Breathe in back. Up, squeeze, holding. Now left elbow, flex to the side towards left hip. Center. Right elbow towards right hip. Center. Go back to the hand. Big oblique with your full body. Deep breathe out again. Lift upper body. Left elbow towards left hip. Center. Right elbow towards right hip. Center. Go back to the hand. Last one. Up. Left elbow. Center. Right. Legs to the right. Center. Go back to the hand. Now upper body and lower body together. Lifting. Deep breathe out. Up. Breathe in back. One more up. Breathe in back. Last one up. And back. Next, up here breathing and holding. Both arms side to side open. Now left hand, straight arm. Slightly flex to the left. Center. But lift arms. To the right, center, bend elbows, go back to the mat. One more each, deep breathe out, up, open arms side to side, flex from side, left hand like towards left ankle, right hand towards right ankle, come back to center, bend elbows, go back to the mat. Last one, up. Open our side to side. Left hand to the left. Center. Right hand to the right. Center. Bending elbows. Go back to the mat. Now bring your legs, knees together. Bend your elbows. Push yourself. Bend up. Then sit back straight. And then slide your hands back, coming in, sitting on the mat. Long legs, we will go back. Need a bit core workout. Core workout and stretching. Without core, we cannot finish. Core we already use in every exercise so far. But now, now more specific core we will do. So you're sitting upright, holding under your knees. Bringing your knees in. First little bit, let's use that spine. Pull back in more. Elbows wide. Side of the ankle holding. And tucking under the pelvis. Lifting feet and holding. With breathing. Lower back, knee back. Up and hold. We breathe in again. Back. Up. Lower back first touch. And back. So you need to stay in C shape to tuck with your lower back first. And up. Last one. And up. Now roll back and hold. You are on lower back already. One leg forward. Pull other one in. Chain. Change. One more change. Change again. Change again. Pull back in. 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 Change again. Change again. Last one. And then in. Hug your knees. Both hands on the back of the head. You're looking up the ceiling. Come on your lower back. Both feet tap. And up. One more tap. And up. Deep breathing tap. Up. Last tap. And up. Now head back with breathing. Tap your feet down. With breathe up. Head up, shoulders up, curl forward. Breathing everything back and tap. Tummy tight. Breathe up, up curling. Three, everything back tap. Two, up curling. One more, everything tap. Up curling. Last one, tap, 
up, curling in, lower your left foot, right leg, single knee fold. And we breathe out, twist to the right, come back to center, toes up and lift. To the right, center, toes up and up. Right again, center, toes up, up. Side, center, tap, up, last side, last stop, tap, and up, lower that leg, lift the other leg, point your toes. We breathe out, twist towards bent knee, center, toe tap, and up, twist, center, tap, and up, again, center, tap, and up, last two, promise, last two. Up, last one, center, top and hold that foot on the floor, head back, lift one leg, other leg, hug your knees. And then feet on the floor. Head up, shoulders up, arms hovering on the side of the body. But make sure not from your mid back, you curling, you're pressing lower back down and you can lift your shoulder blades. Palms facing down, left finger, hands towards left ankle. Slide and flex, slide and flex. All legs flex. Arms hovering on the floor, not resting on the floor, yeah? Side, other side. Lift hands, arms, shoulders. Side, and other side. One more each, and last, and center. Go back, core of exhibiting, burning, crying. Now open your arms in T-shape. Feet one foot forward and knees feet wider than hip width. Press down lower back, rotate pelvis knees to the left, squeeze right bum cheek, push forward. Your obliques, your pelvis, leg in front, all stretches. Center, keep knees wide, draw up other side. Center. Now feet knees hip width apart, right leg tight, cross on the left. And then to the left, head opposite. Leg, feet, knees, hip width apart. Keep again lower back flat. Right ankle on the left knee. Lift the left leg. Hold underneath, or top of knee. 
pull in more pelvis. Release hands first, then fold, and on cross, other hand curl, then pull in. Mm-hmm. 